You just, you just went from way up here to way, way down there. How's that feel? Not so good, right? Yeah, no more caviar for you. Now you're hanging around out in the back of the Taco Bell. <laughs> hoping somebody throws away some scraps that you can eat. You're no longer hobnobbing with the cool kids. I don't know what hobnob means, but... <laughs> Sounds good. See, see, huh? Sounds good. Yeah, it sounded good. It's one of those words that I think fit there, so... You could use this old phrase for, for Moses. Oh my, how the mighty have fallen. Remember my mom saying that. My, how the mighty have fallen. But she was looking at my report card at the time. <laughs> Is your faith and trust in God? See, our foundation has to be, the foundation has to be immovable. The foundation has to be something that's so secure that it can't be shaken or rocked. That's Jesus. That needs to be our foundation. Nothing else will work. You say, I got, other, I got another foundation. It won't work. Your foundation needs to be Jesus. Is your hope... Think about your life now. Just be honest. This is between you and God. Is your hope in yourself and your plans and your abilities and your experience and your savvy is your hope in your wisdom and your intelligence and by the way abilities and intelligence and savvy and wisdom those are all good things they're not bad things they're good things they're not bad they're good but that's not where our ultimate hope lies our ultimate hope does not lie in those things your ultimate hope can't lie in you it's not enough. You're not even going to be around in about 80 or 90 years or less. How can your ultimate hope be in you? You can't even control that. Our hope has to be in God. He's sovereign. He makes the ultimate plans, <laughs> whether we want it or not. So we want to get on board with him. You want, to be, you want to be on board with the right plans? Say yes. yes. Then get on board with his. He's the one who reigns supreme. Amen? Amen. Would you stand, please?